Chairman of the FDIC issued a warning that the banking industry still faces major downside risks from inflation and high interest rates, which could erode profits and credit six months after uh, that banking crisis. For a look at the state of banks and the state of the global economy, UBS's group's CEO, Sergio uh, Armadi, is here. He's the uh, UBS, uh, just completed its $3 billion acquisition of rival Credit Suisse in June. Uh, quite controversial at the time. I want to talk about that, the progress you've made. But I want to start with trying to understand where you think we really are. You have a unique perspective uh, on the global economy, and uh, given, given your, the different regions that you cover, where do you think we really are? Well, the outlook for next year are, are not so uh, good. So I think that we expect uh, the global economy to go from around 2.8% uh, percent, uh, to down to 2.5% with a, a risk on the downside, uh, as we speak. Uh, most likely, the U.S. will manage to go on a softer basis, avoid recession uh, at this stage. Europe is uh, definitely under a lot of pressure. Uh, inflation is still high and, and there is no growth. And, uh, and China is also somehow slowing down after a promising start post-COVID. Right. Uh, so, uh, so does that mean you're pessimistic? You don't, you know, that's not, a, that's not a, no. a roaring endorsement of where we are. No, I mean, look, you know, it, it, I don't think it's, a, it's about being pessimistic. It's about being realistic at looking at uh, not only macro data, but also the geopolitical uh, front is not very uh, constructive in, 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 in that sense. So uh, I, I think that one has to be uh, realistic in looking at that. So the latest round of uh, energy prices going up is not definitely helping uh, uh, inflation uh, right. uh, fights. From the data you see, I mean, one of the big debates we have in the U.S., of course, is, you know, do we have a soft landing or do we have a hard landing? Where do you land on that camp? I would say that uh, uh, I would say that I'm still uh, hopeful that we can go into for a soft landing, but there's too much consensus around soft landing, and, and usually when there is too much consensus around something, is you know we have to be prepared for something else. So are you telling your team that this is not going to be a soft landing? Well, we have to be prepared. You know, our job is to manage any any scenario, and it's part of uh, you know uh, managing right. uh, the tail risks. And, and and when you think about the tail risks, but now let, let's go to Europe, where I know you're also thinking it's going to be a, t a tough road. What are the dominoes, therefore, to fall if there are dominoes that do fall? Well, look, you know, for Europe, it's uh, structure is already a challenging situation, and an escalation of the geopolitical front between the U.S. and, and, and China would, you know, would uh, hit uh, very hard uh, the European economy. So I think that's the uh, first, uh, that's the point. And the second one is the inflation is still pretty high, stubborn, uh, stubbornly high. Now we will see what the ECB right. is going to do, but uh, even if they don't hike, they're going to have to stay there for a little bit longer. What do you think the impact of all of this is going to be on, on, on the banking industry writ large? Well, look, the, uh, at large, I think the banking industry is very strong in terms of its capital, particularly the very large banks uh, around the globe have demonstrated that uh, the solidity of, of their capital base our capital is up tenfold uh, since the financial crisis in aggregate. Uh, the last round of uh, regional banks crisis have demonstrated that banks, you know, the large banks were there to be a stability factor. Uh, but in general, of course, if you have a tough time on, on, on the economy, uh, banks are going to be under pressure, both uh, in, in terms of the credit exposures, uh, but also in terms of profitability. How should folks think about European banks? We can take UBS out of this, but when you look at, at your competitor set in Europe right now, are, are, there, are there certain banks that you think we should be keeping an eye on? No, I, I think that in general, as I said, you know, in Europe, uh, a strong regulatory framework has been developed uh, post the financial crisis and rolled out. Uh, so Basel III is de facto implemented, and, uh, and, and, and uh, right. so, you know, I, I do think that uh, there are enough capital uh, available to absorb shocks. Uh, right. Uh, but that's clearly something that uh, we have to be prepared for.